Hello everyone, this is Apartment on Wheels. Today's episode is about bringing a battery back to Walmart. It is the plus of a start. 78 group, 600 cold crank and amps. Uh, it's pretty sad when I've had this battery, not even about two weeks, and it's died. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them one more chance because I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was just a bad, defective bad battery from the factory or whatever. Um, sometimes you may have a problem with your car where you got an electrical problem where it's drawing out the juice out of it. I haven't noticed anything yet. Um, the other battery that I had just died. It was already five years old. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go get them another one. Test them out. I think I'm going to get like a 850 cold crank in amps, which is going to give me a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to take it from there. I'm going to see if it works. If it does, then I'm going to go get another one. But I'll never get another battery again here. Uh, the reason I bought this battery is because the last time I was here, when my other one died, I was doing a job and we needed to be there on time. So um, you know, when I was here in Tewksbury, Massachusetts, they had you know the 24 uh, hour center and they had these batteries here. So I ended up picking it up, um, not only because it was here, but also to, as an appreciation, buying it. Because, uh, you know, I spent nights here, and they turn around, and they, uh, they allow us to spend nights here. Um, you know, they could have been jerks and saying, hey, there's no parking over here, so you guys can't stick around. But, uh, like I said, I don't blame Walmart. Uh, there's really only two battery companies and two paint companies in the whole United States. Um, what they do is they get these batteries together and they throw the stickers on there. So, um, it could have been something defective from the factory. Uh, a lot of these batteries are all recycled. What they do is, uh, they take the old lead and use the old lead. So, if you had some type of problem with a car who had a uh, charging problem, where it was really, you know, wrecking the battery pretty bad, well, that lead is not going to be as strong for the next battery as it is. So, um, I mean, I don't know how many more times they're going to sit here, they're going to use lead before uh, they have to, you know, replace it with new lead. But, you know, so, same thing with paint companies. There's only two companies out there that produces paint that you can turn around that you can use. And... Um, usually all the same stuff uh, you know some of that stuff that's cheaper what it is it's bottom of the barrel stuff uh, just like beer you can probably go get some of that you know natty ice and um, but you know that's from Budweiser but the thing is that's bottom of the barrel beer you know what I'm saying just like cigarettes you can get marbles where they're really good or you can get raves where they're about you know three dollars cheaper but that's probably the tobacco that fell on the floor you know what I'm saying so you just got to look at it that way. Um, if you have any questions, get back to me about battery situations. And, you know, that's about it. So make sure you have yourselves a great day. And uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.